Double. There it is. Double. Oh! And that is a pretty fish. And that is on the black lightning bug. That's one of our newer flies. And that thing is dynamite. Once again, that's on the dark natural double trouble. And you can see that fly right in the corner of his mouth. There's that beta sniff in the top of its mouth. And look at the spots on this little guy. What do you think, Big Shrive? That's what I come for, right there. Hey, what's up everybody? Benny P here with Lovely Lakes Fly Fishing, and I'm out in the fly shop this morning, sipping away at the coffee, packing orders. Big Shrive and I got in here early, and as soon as we're done, we're going to head out to the water and catch some fish, so follow along. Well, everything's blown out at this point. We're just sitting here making a decision, finishing up on orders, and... We looked at stream gauges. We had rain on Sunday. This is Tuesday, and some of the streams with stream gauges are still blown out. So we're thinking today is going to have to be either a small brown trout stream or a brookie stream, but we're going to go give it a try. That's the worst thing that can happen. We don't catch fish, and we have a good day out exploring. I brought a bag of meatballs to snack on. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're off. Big Shrive and I are headed to the stream. Uh, before we go to the stream, we have to stop and make our official sheets run, and get some snacks for the day, hit the post office up, and then head on out. All right, got our sheets. Time to head down to the post office and drop the orders off. Okay, postal run is done. Sheets run is done. We're finally on the road, Big Shroud. Let's go find some trout. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. Okay, here at last. Big Shroud's checking a stream out and we're ready to start fishing. What we're gonna do is, the stream looks great as you can see. We actually had to toy around and check out different sections on the stream. Came up to the upper section and it looks really good. Uh, gonna start it off, Big Shroud's gonna go first. He catches the fish, I'm up next and that's how we're gonna work upstream. I want to point out we're upstream nymph fishing, that way the fish don't see us coming. And we're both going to be fishing our 10 foot syndicate rods and our tilt reels, our lively leg slides. So follow along and let's get into some fish today. So I was going to do a clown fart, the big shrive has one on. He has a clown fart up top and his bottom fly is one of our Fast Water Series Beta Snimp Flies. Good to go. Look at that. We start off big tries up first. And I'll explain this spot in a minute. The first fish of the day in the net with just a cast. That's why I love this trick. Look oh at them my dogs. Goodness, wait till you see this fish. These orange dots are amazing. And there's that beta sniff in the top of its mouth. And look at the spots on this little guy. So worn, such a beautiful little fish. And you can almost see the par markings headed back. You can see that? What a gorgeous fish. Way to start her off, Big Tribe. And I'm going to show you, you can see this rock out here. And that water's tumbling down this side of the rock. On this side, it creates a soft spot. And that's where those fish like to sit. Okay. Bunny P's first run here. He's going to start back a little ways and work right up to the fast water. We got a hook up. Oh, flip button action. We got the second one in the net. 
What's that, three cast? How about that? Three cast, two beautiful fish, Big Shroud. This is 2024 and we're on the water, buddy. And we're gonna be putting fish in the net. He just powered down that double trouble. That's the dark natural double trouble I said I'm gonna start with. And that's what we got him on. Beautiful. That's how we started off right there. I'm ready. Two fish in the net. And Big Shroud's up again. And if you can't see that, he made a perfect cast into that tree. <laughs> that means is that I'm up again. I'm just gonna hand the camera over. This is how we do it if somebody catches the tree on a cast. Ready? Mm-hmm. I guess we're ready how so I can't say that was my best net job ever, but uh, he was coming in hot. So I tried to lead him into the net. And that's what we do. Uh, I'm gonna leave him in the water. So fish is getting oxygen, but I'm gonna explain this. You come a little closer so they can hear just for the camera. I'm gonna explain this. Big Shrive threw out. There's a lot of branches over top of, a lot of canopy branches over the stream. And he catches just that end of that branch, can't get it out. Instead of walking out and ruining that spot, we just hold our rods up high and the next guy steps in and gives him a chance to catch a fish and it worked out. Let's take a look at this guy. Once again, that's on the dark natural double trouble. And you can see that fly right in the corner of his mouth. And that is a beautiful wild fish. Look at the color on that thing. What a gorgeous fish. Take those all day today. What a start! Three fish in the net. All right, big try steps out to get his flies out of the tree. I threw a couple times and I overshot where I was trying to get my cast, and I went into the faster water and the zip down through. Didn't have a hit. And then I finally got my cast up into this soft side. You see that run coming down through, and I hit right on that seam, that soft side on this side, and you can see it's coming down through and. Perfect hook set. He came down here hard. I turned him, he came back upstream, and then he came in hot, got him in the net, and another fish, catch and release. All right, big tribe is back up, and we have a very nice fishy looking spot. Water's a little bit slower, deeper. Looks like it should be holding some fish. And it's holding some fish. Big tribe with what appears to be a beautiful little wild brownie in the net. And the bait is again. A great looking little fish, Rob. You notice I said little, that's a little one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know. oh, it's a little beautiful fish. Okay, he really sucked her down in, didn't he? I'll take it. It takes skill to catch the little ones. It takes skill? To, yes, it does. It takes skill to catch these little fish. All right, tough little spot here. Have to give it a go though. We can zing a cast into those. Not into them, but under those branches, perfect. Oh, double, double. 
Double. Oh. Double. Oh. Double. 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 So you can see his coin marks, nice orange dots, red on his adipose. And away he goes. It's cool to hook a double. Iron Mike is the master of them. And uh, he has talked us into changing our rig up and never hooking. Come closer just so I don't want to picking up too much sound from here. Iron Mike talked us into never hooking our flies like uh, to the back end of the hook anymore or to the eye but to do a dropper tag and it's been working and you can see uh, that's my third fish today and I hooked a double already. I hope I can get a double ended one of these days but if not I think that my success rate is going to go up on hooking them. I'll take it that's uh, three I think six fish on video. Good start big shot. I just hooked that double right here got that fish released but I want to show you the trick to this spot was I tried some drifts right through here, but I had to take the risk, and that's the risk reward thing that we talk about in fly fishing. I had to ping the cast, that's a little ping cast, up under that branch, you can see this branch right here, and get a real nice long drift. Had to get a chance for my flies to get down, and then boom, right in here, I hooked two fish on that cast. And that's it, you gotta take the risk. You have to take cast up under tree branches in order to do things like that. If I wouldn't have taken that risk and just left this spot, I wouldn't have hooked a double. So I didn't land the double, but I just reached into my bag and I got myself a double. Some of the best quality food on the market, pickled eggs. Mm. I don't go on a trout stream without these. There's just something about a pickled egg on a trout stream that is the perfect combination for me. I don't know what I'd do without these things. They're the best. Um, the only thing is, you eat a bunch of these like I do. I'm gonna eat four of them. When you go home, <laughs> I have a wife and two daughters, and it's bad. I feel bad for them, but it doesn't bother me at all. Big Trav lost his flies, and I'm just going to step out and work this section. Because why not? There we go. That didn't take long. Get down low. Oh, he's a fighter. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it on the video. This one's a fighting. That one is on a double trouble as well. That double trouble is bringing some beauties to the net. And look at that one. Oh my goodness. That's a beauty. This clip is all going to be on my body cam here. But that's the fish of the day so far. Beautiful looking wild brown. Wet my hands. See if you could see the fly. There's that double trouble. Barbless. Pop straight out. And let's put him back in the water. Another beautiful one at Double Trouble is kicking butt today. Let's take a quick look at that fly. And there's my Pertagon. I did hook one fish with the Pertagon. It was on a double, but it got off. And there is my Double Trouble. And that bugger right there, the size 12 Dark Natural Double Trouble, 
with the yellow lively legs and it is putting a fish in the net. Alright, take a minute here while Big Shrive's time back on. I'm going to show you the box of flies I threw together to start the season. And you can see my top row. They're all Y2Ks. Second row down, we have double troubles. Then some waltz worms and some uh, black blowtorch right there. Coming down below that, I have some different lightning bugs and then some pertagons and other fast water series flies. So that's a nice little box of flies. And my hot fly today is that one that's missing. Let me see if I can get my thumb in there. This one right here. Size 12, dark natural, double trouble. That is the one that is putting the fish in the net today. Okay, well, Big Shroud was tying up. I just landed a fish in here, and it's all in my action cam. And he moved up to the next little spot. <laughs> Look at that. He moves up to the next little spot, and instantly on the first cast, hooks up with the fish. He had lost his flies, and I jumped in and got a quick action cam fish on video. And Big Shroud steps up into the next little run. And that is a pretty fish. And that is on the black lightning bug. That's one of our newer flies. And that thing is dynamite. Nice catch, Big Shroud. We're ripping them today, buddy. 31 degrees, winter time. You can see how beautiful it is outside. And we're enjoying ourselves on a trout stream. There he got it. I'll come down. Right. So it's my first fish on the Pertagon today. I think I'm like five for the double trouble, one for the Pertagon. And uh, it's a beauty. It's a little one. The nice orange dots on it. Red stripe on the tail right here. And as you can see, I'm not squeezing the fish. He's not squirming all around. Go ahead and drop that one back in the water. The thing I want to point out, check this out. That's my O-Pro rod holder. I do a lot of things when I'm out here on the water. Filming, fishing, netting fish. It's always nice to have a place to put your rod. These rod holders have been one of my go-to pieces of equipment on the water. We offer these at LoveyLegs.com. And if you're always fumbling around with your rod, putting it under your arm and dropping it, between your legs and dropping it, give one of these a try. It's worked great for me, and I bet you find success with it as well. Okay, you can see the rod's in the rod holder. All I do is put my thumb here, pop it out, and you just have to push it down in. And your, both your hands are free at that point. We're going to eat a couple meatballs. I, uh, I'm sick and tired of catching little fish and letting Ben beat me. <laughs> uh, I have a couple meatballs. What kind of meatballs do you have there? Did, are those homemade? Don't tell me those are the ones from the bag. Uh -oh. Like from a freezer, like freezer section. Nope. Tiffany made them up last night. Well, give me one then. Tiffany made them, I'll eat some of those. Oh, yeah. Them babies are good. Uh-oh. You got a wet hat. Oh boy. Oh, I saw that one. It's a nice little strike. One hit wonder. Maybe. We'll see. No, he's not a one-hit wonder, Big Shrive. Uh. And he gets off. Well, it was a little one. Well, that's good you hooked him. I thought this spot would produce a fish. Can't land them all, buddy. Get up there, there's another one in this. This spot is pretty darn big and awesome and there's gotta be another hungry one in here. Oh, yeah. 
Is, so there it is. There was another one in here. And he's got a pole bend. Check that out. It's a better fish. This is the one Big Shaw has been waiting for. Get him in the net. He's in the net. I'll be over. You get into a better fish here, Big Shrive. And that black lightning bug is your fly today. There it is. See, it was right in the corner of his mouth. What do you think, Big Shrive? That's what I come for, right there. That's a very solid wild brown trout. Good fish. <laughs> Worked hard for that one. You did work hard for that one. That was your first one of size there. Um, you were due for a nicer one like that, so I'm glad you got into them. Yeah. I've been in the brush piles and everything else today. Lost, I didn't lose my hat, but put my hat in water. It's rough. Tough fishing, but it's fishing. You know. the heck? I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'll tell you this, I was a little bit down, you catch a fish like that, you're on a high. I mean, it's the truth. I yeah, that, it is the truth, and that was a beautiful fish, Big yeah. Tribe. Those orange dots, did you see them? I seen them. I, I we like talked it. about that on the way here. We were catching with red dots the other day. These ones are like, they're orange-orange, there's no doubt. These ones, their fins have a little bit of red on it, but the dots, they're orange. Looks like a good fish. They're shaking in the net. Let's get a look at them. What do you think? You took a black double trouble. Oh, how about that? Yeah, imagine that. What everybody didn't see, Big Try was more than a friend. If you look, I'm gonna show you something. He has a fighting butt on his fly rod. That's Big Try's rod. Uh, we needed an ending fish. He caught that fish down there, and I said, all right, let me get the ending fish. I cast in the trees, and I lose everything. Big Shrive hands me his fly rods. Come on, you get the ending fish. So it came up, beautiful soft water right here, and I said, this is the spot, and uh, look at this beauty to end the video. Okay, there he is, and look, he has the red dots. All those orange dots we caught earlier, and this one has the red dots, Last fish of the day, nice looking wild brown trout. And there he goes. All right, what do you think, Big Shrive? Make that the last fish of the day? Yeah. Yeah, okay. We'll make that the last fish of the day. Uh, we'd like to thank everybody for following along. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, TikTok. I think that's about it. I think I do, I tried the Snapchat, but I just don't get it one bit, but you know, so I apologize to anybody I haven't gotten back to on there. We'd like to thank everybody for following along, do all that stuff, and until next time, best of luck on the water.